and Miguel Cotto ain't finna be bullied into. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 It depends on which Delvin show up, but Delvin could exactly. give him problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if the right Delvin comes in, Cotto will have a problem. Yeah. Cotto will have a problem. Now, and, I, and I could be an upset. And I would really call it no upset at this point, Delvin. Cotto, now, I wouldn't, I, to be honest with you, I would go into the fight straight for Delvin. Yeah, I mean, I, I would, except I just don't trust Delvin. He'll get in there and one punch, and I'll be, what the hell is he doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're going to a fight feeling confident about Delvin, and then Delvin to do something, you'd be like, man, what the hell, man? What the hell is wrong with Delvin? Delvin's supposed to be dead. That's how he is. He's always been in that nickel like that. Always. He's always been in that nickel. But that's a good, that's, that's a hell of a fight right there. That's yeah. a fight. Uh, 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 Jerry Russell versus Cole Billion. That should be a good fight. Yep, now Cotto back working with Bob. Was last, you know, in his career with Bob. Yeah, but what happened though? What's the situation with the Cotto boy fight? Oh, well, nothing. They just, you know, it was, it was, they did two fights and they basically didn't have the right option for him and Cotto didn't like the options. You know, Cotto got his own promotional company and he wanted to go in his own direction. So, He's looking like I'm not gonna be food for the build up your guys, and y'all ain't finna use me as just some sponge that's gonna sell all the tickets and then get my brains beat in. So yeah. he wanna build up his brand and keep his company up there. And he know in order for that to happen, he gotta be winning. So <laughs> he chose his opponent, which was K9 Bungage, and they came to an agreement, and everybody was set to go, and then. Espinosa and them turned it down, and who was who does Espinosa really go with? Golden Boy. So it's like Golden Boy turned it down. Yeah. And they yeah. wanted they they wanted another fight. They saying that they had no problems with that fight, but they had other plans with Miguel Cotto. Yeah, but see the thing was is that they should have did it with K Nine with Cotto and Delvin. They should have had the IBF title. That was more of a sellable fight. It it wasn't that it, it was a whole thing about a title defense and he had to defend the title against uh, Ishe Smith. So yeah, Ishe wasn't even his mandatory though. That's the that's the sample. Ishe wasn't his mandatory. Uh uh uh, Gabe uh, Gabe was his mandatory, but he lost. The IBF was first going to let him keep the mandatory song because the fight was going to be at a catchweight. But when he said no catchweight, I wanted at one sixty. The IBF relinquished him from the uh, from the rankings, saying, you know, they 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 then they moved him on to the next guy. The next guy was Melinda. Exactly, Gabe went up and abandoned his position for the yeah. uh, IBF title when he fought yeah. Golovkin. He went up to the 160 and abandoned it, and then Carlos Molina became the mandatory. And the only way to fight with Ishe could happen is he had to give Carlos Molina a shot immediately. As his first title defense, and they yeah, agreed that he had an optional defense. He had an optional defense because he just had for mandatory. His mandatory was uh, uh, Corey Smith again. That was mandatory. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm not talking so about K9. I'm not talking about K9. It was for Ishe. Yeah. If Ishe yeah. was to win the title, he had to fight Carlos Molina next. That yeah, was part of the part deal. Of Right, so that's why the fight with him and Molina was going to get done. Because he's like, I'm going to be a man of my word. It's like, you ain't got a choice. Because if you don't, you're going to be stripped. Because that was the agreement in order for for the fight to take place. Molina had to basically step aside so they can get the K-9 fight with... Uh, but K-9 K told me the reason why he took the fight with Ishe because he said, man, they was all for me the same money for Trout. And um and what's the name? They was offering me the same money for Trout, and it was somebody else, Trout and Laura. 
that I could have got plane entry, so he said, I'm going in and take an easier flight. But word around the campfire was he got offered big money, so he got offered a nice bit of money to fight Trout and turned it down. But you know why he turned down it. <laughs> oh, yeah, at his age and the fight Austin Trout now, a lot of people yeah, saying that that fight should be next. Like, K-9, K-9 should be fighting Austin Trout next. That's Trout comeback yeah. fight. And I'm like, yeah. uh, that's not good for if you K-9. That's a, that's a horrible day for you. Yeah. That's a horrible yeah, matchup. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. To that much activity, he won't be able to keep up with that. He gonna be yeah. hoping to land yeah. one bomb on, uh, one bomb on, uh, what's his name, Austin. That's, that'd be his whole thing, hoping Austin get in there close so he can land one bomb on him. But, yeah, but, but he's not really a big puncher anyway. Austin got a good chin now. Yeah, he's not really a big puncher anyway. Nah, he's not. Ever since he got that one knockout on the ball overseas. But see, the thing with the 10 was roughing the boy up the whole fight, though. That was a cumulation shot. Yep. That was one of them shots that you right there. But, um... 